Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Sunday, July 16th, so you know what time it is. It's Polygon Gaming Weekly Recap, where we try and go through all the latest updates from this past week, plus anything that's coming up here in the very near future on the Polygon Gaming Network, or blockchain, however you want to call it. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Um, unfortunately, I got to start with a little bit of a negative side, um, more of an awareness. I did a video on this earlier this week around just the simple fact um, stop clicking on links from people you don't know and, and DMs. Um, we've, we've been seeing for well over a year now that it's impacting players themselves, but recently we're starting to see it really impact actual discords. Full discords are getting shut down and taken over because admins are clicking on links that they shouldn't be in DMs. Uh, we just saw it this week with Synergy Land. Unfortunately, they were down for almost 24 hours, or I should say hijacked for almost 24 hours. A lot of people clicked on a scam link that was in the announcements. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of people had some 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 other funds removed. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think there's really any way that they're going to get that back. Um, I think the Synergy Land folks have put some, some things into place uh, to help prevent that in the future, but that's without a doubt the longest I've seen a full Discord hijacked for a full 24 hours. Usually it's much quicker. Uh, we did see a game on the WAC side also get quickly hijacked, but also quickly taken back um, this past week too. So it is happening, unfortunately. So be very careful both for links and DMs. And also if you see something that's really sounds too good to be true, it's a giveaway uh, in the Discord and the, the general or the, the normal chat is locked. Always just take a few extra steps before you click on links before, even in the announcements, even if you think it's from the actual team now, um, just be cautious. I don't wanna see anyone uh, be taken advantage of by some crazy scammy links. All right, now we got that out of the way. Uh, if you want to see the whole video and all the details I was talking about, check out my video earlier this week. Uh, basically, don't do this. It, big, terrible thumbnail, but I was just trying to get your attention because I, I'm making that video quite a, quite often recently. Let's go ahead and jump into the games themselves. And we're going to start with The Fabled, which is one of my favorite games on uh, Polygon. And I've only been uh, in the alpha for about a week now, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead out there and remind you that there is the the Ash of Ashes event that's still going on. Uh, essentially what you can do by going through this event is if you get 2000 of the, the points, the Ashes, you can go ahead and get access to the alpha game itself and you can test it out too. Um, if Even if you just do it for that, it's totally worth it. Uh, but there's also a good chance that you can win some of the mint passes or the mint keys that give you a lot of additional benefits if you, if you rank in the top 10. Um, so definitely worth checking out. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and jump in the Discord uh, and check them out. I'll go. I will have a link in the description down below if if you want to go ahead and make sure you get to the actual Discord itself. Next on the list is my other favorite project on the Polygon network. It is Avalon. You've heard if you watch my channel, you've seen this a lot. Uh, but as far as Avalon goes, what they've done is they've partnered up with Venly. And if you're not familiar with what Venly does, it basically gives uh, players and users a chance to go ahead and purchase NFT or game items with Apple Pay, Google Pay, their credit card. They don't actually have to go out and get crypto and then jump over to a secondary market and buy it off a secondary market. They can buy it directly from Venly and it gives them access. So it's essentially giving Web 2.0 players access to the game without going through the, the hoops that you would for crypto. Uh, so it, it's making it more easily accessible. And I have a feeling there's a lot more games that are going to go this route down the road. So it's neat, it's neat to see uh, them doing this. Next on the list, we have Sunflower Land. Sunflower Land has done a couple big updates. I showed you last time as far as you can actually move your, your bumpkin around. Um, another thing that they added, they added a, a Wonder Leaf uh, NPC to that area now. Um, I've heard that they're in the very near future going to do a highly discounted <laughs> um access uh to the game for those of you that that uh have not tried the game yet um so keep an eye out for that it, it and I've, I've heard it anywhere from half price to minting fees completely reduced um so we'll see what they actually announce alongside with that but if you haven't played sunflower lands and you're interested in it, uh just keep an eye out for that announcement hopefully coming soon Next on the list, we got Oyaban. Oyaban just printed a basically went through and did a full update on their roadmap. I love how detailed it is because they went through and they put, provided a whole heck of a lot of details. Uh, too often we see in the light papers or on websites these these roadmaps that are we're going to launch the game, we're going to add content, 
Okay, that's the end of our roadmap. Um, so it's neat to see that they're actually going through and putting a lot of details in there, kind of explaining what's coming up here in the near future. So I got to give them credit for that, at least keeping that updated and um, the communication open. Obviously, games that are in development are going to potentially miss milestones. Um, they're trying to do their best uh, to, to make sure that the players are aware of any adjustments that are happening there. Next on the list, we got Crazy Ants. This is actually new. This was a player suggestion. I have not had the chance to actually jump into this game yet. Um, it is on my list to go ahead and try. I just want to make sure that I got this out there to let you know that, it, first of all, it's out there. Two, uh, or second of all, they have this new Ant Sorcery Alliance. It seems like an event that's going on right now. So if you're playing the game and you're not aware of it, go out to their Discord and check it out. If you're not playing the game and you're interested in it, hey, it might be a good time to get in there. I, again, I have not tried this game yet, so I can't say w whether it's good or one way or the other, but it is on my list. So here in the near future. Then we got Planet IX. Planet IX is, uh, they have, uh, basically they updated their lucky lucky raffle, the lucky cat raffle. Um, they're also doing a lot of work with other projects, doing a lot of collaborations here uh, right now, even, even sep or not separating, but uh, collaborating with other projects in different blockchains. For example, Wombat Dungeon Masters, uh, they, they have a collaboration with them right now. Um, so lots of connections between there. But speaking of Wombat, uh, what they did, they did something very interesting this week is they re released a refundable end NFT. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically you can buy an NFT, you can use it as much as you want to use it, and then you can return it. And when you return it, you get your full uh, cost that you gave into it back. So if you pay 100 mat matic for it, and you get 100 back. Um, some good things and some bad things about this. This is great during, I guess, uh, the bear market because potentially the NFT prices will be in values will be going down. So you, you're not losing anything. You actually get your return back. The challenge with this is when we actually switch to a bull market uh, and those NFTs go up in price or the values go up in price, uh, you're not going to get that profit either. So you'll, you're essentially getting what you paid for it. Uh, but it gives you a chance to go out there and, and use some of these NFTs, get the, the MP, uh, the mining power, so you can boost yourself uh, within the game. And then we got Planet Mojo, uh, two items here. They actually kicked off their season one shadow event. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out. In addition to that, they actually have a melee Twitter contest going on. Um, this was, the, if you're not familiar with the game, this was the one where it's like an arena style where you go ahead 1v1 in a player versus player kind of activity. Uh, so if you're at all interested in that style of game, uh, definitely worth checking this out, especially with some of the events that are coming up here. Uh, then Crixivia, just a reminder today, they actually have a patch going on. In fact, I think it kicked off yesterday where they kind of took down the servers to make sure that they can go through and do the patch itself. So if you're playing it, and you're trying to play yesterday, this is why. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to play it in a few days and you try and jump in there and it's not available, again, this is why they're doing a full patch. There's a lot of updates that are going on. I think this is also the one where they're going to be trying to do some upgrades to the, the graphics. I could be wrong, um, but the full patch notes are, are going to be coming here shortly. Check out their Discord to keep an update. Keep updated on the progress of the patch release. Then we got Voxies just doing this uh, quickly. They uh, they released their their newest diary, um, the seventh of July diary. I know it's uh, by the time you're watching this, they may have a fourteenth of July uh, diary out there. So go ahead if you're interested in the updates that they're pushing out there. Check out their Discord. They always put it up there uh, in the announcements. It basically keeps you up to speed with what's going on with the project itself. And then last but not least, we have the Rev Motorsports. Uh, they again also providing some updates with, as far as their their development goes. The one thing I've noticed a lot, especially on the Polygon network, is there are a lot of projects that are available, alpha, beta, uh, and there's a lot of development going on for new games that are either just releasing or just about to release. So if you're one of those people that really likes to get in a game early, alpha, beta, check out some of these games on the Polygon network. I was also checking out their Twitter as far as their gaming Twitter goes. Uh, they are making a lot of partnerships uh, or at least announcing a lot of partnerships recently. So I'll be adding some of those games to this list also. Uh, I just want to look into them a little bit deeper before I add them to the list. Uh, but if, also, if you have any games that you enjoy, uh, please put them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to take a look, a deeper look, at least put it on my list to take a deeper look. I am trying to do game at least one, maybe two game reviews every week, whether it's on the Polygon, uh, Wax, or even some other blockchains. If you know another blockchain that you, you, you like or a game that you like, let me know. I'll take a look at it. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.